You guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's an update on that 2012 charger. Uh, I did put in a new oil pressure sensor, and it is still reading zero oil pressure, and the motor is very, very noisy. But I don't hear any knocking in the lower end. It seems to be all valve train at this point. Uh, the owner did tell me that he had a uh, fuel or oil treatment by Amsoil put in, and then a thousand miles later, uh, this happened. So I'm, I've kind of got my suspicions that it's going to be a clogged pickup tube. Um, so um, I'm, naturally what I'm doing is I'm tearing the entire front end of the car apart so I can actually get to the timing cover and everything easily. It took me about 20 minutes to get the car from what it looked like in the last video to right here at this point. So what I've removed so far is the front bumper cover, both headlights, the header panel, the uh, AC condenser is just unbolted and swung out of the way. So we don't have to mess with the AC uh, and make it to where it doesn't work because this customer's AC does work. So, uh, so I've removed radiator and fans and serpentine belt, obviously. Uh, I did have a catch pan under here to catch all, as much antifreeze as possible. Still made a little bit of a mess. But uh, so, next move is going to be, I'm going to be re removing this lower radiator hose on this side here. I'm going to be removing, putting a little bit of heat to that bolt and removing it. We're going to be unbolting the alternator. We're going to loosen and uh, remove the there's a stud that comes through here you rem, you remove the nut and then you remove the stud itself then you do there's a bolt down here you you take that off and there's two more bolts in the back you're just going to loosen those so that this ac compressor drops down and you got about a quarter an inch to half an inch gap in between this these two front bolts and the timing cover uh then at that point you can take off, you uh, you have five 10 millimeter bolts that run along the bottom of the front of the pan here that you have to remove, which you can get to right underneath uh, if you don't have a heat shield, but this car does, so we're not. We're just gonna use a ratchet wrench. Uh, then we're gonna get our three jaw puller and uh, and pull our harmonic balancer off. After Again, after I put a little bit of heat around the outside and we're gonna have to you're going to have to loosen this here. You have to remove this 10 millimeter bolt here. Put a little bit of heat to this right here. Pop it up. Uh, typically, you would remove the intake manifold. I'm going to see if I can get away with not having to remove that. Or if I do, just possibly loosening it up and lifting it up off the motor a little bit. Maybe put a couple blocks of wood under it. Because what the goal here is, I believe the oil pump has failed or, or has a clogged pickup tube. So I have a good oil pump laying around that I'm going to put on this engine. I'm going to put the timing cover back on it, and I'm going to put the harmonic balancer back on it, but I'm not going to reassemble everything else, just the bare essentials so the engine will run. I'm then going to start the engine, and I'm going to make sure and see if it has any oil pressure. Uh, if it does, we're going to let it run, and we're going to see uh, if the valve train quiets up quite a bit and if it quiets totally down. If it does, then we have, there's our, there's our point and cause here for this engine being so noisy. Um, then from there, the owner and I are going to discuss what, how to move forward, whether he wants to replace the engine, uh, or if we're just going to pull the heads, do cam lifters, uh, a new high volume, high pressure oil pump and timing chain and guides and put this engine back together. But I am going to do a very thorough uh, inspection. Once I get, once you get the timing cover off of these engines, there's actually two openings in the oil pan gasket to where you can actually see down into the pan. And I'm going to investigate. I'm actually going to, I, uh, I can get my hand down in there, and I'm going to wipe the bottom of the pan with my fingers, and I'm going to see if there's any uh, metal shavings that are stuck to the bottom of that oil pan. If there's not. There's a great chance that this engine did not get damaged by it having a failed oil pump. Uh, he said that the oil pump went out, or he dropped down to zero oil pressure, and he probably rode on it for about a half a mile and uh, shut it off, had it towed home. He just did that long enough to get off the highway so he wouldn't get hit, and uh, it's been sitting ever since. He hasn't started it since. So we're going to see how this goes, and... 
probably give me another hour and I'll have all of this taken off. Possibly sooner, just all depends on how um, how everything goes, if the bolts are going to break loose freely or if they're going to fight me or, you know, what have you. So uh, another trick that you could possibly do as well is you can leave the alternator attached to the timing cover and just unbolt the power wire from the back side of it and then unplug it and uh, wrap a rag around the power wire because this car still does have power connected to it. Um, so you could just do that or just disconnect the battery and, you know, unbolt that, unplug it. And you can just drop this down out of the, drop the AC compressor down out of the way and pull the harmonic balancer and all of this will come off as a unit. You don't even have to remove the water pump. You remove the tensioner, idler, idler pulley here. And there's certain bolts that go around, which I will actually, uh, I will mark. Or actually, once the timing cover comes off, you'll be able to tell which ones are which and which ones go where, uh, etc. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. We're going to have another update here probably in an hour. Uh, I'm gonna, this is going to be like a multi-video, uh, you know, walkthrough to show what's involved when it comes down to taking a timing cover off of one of these Hemi engines. Which a lot of times, you guys are going to need to know this when you're doing a cam swap or lifters. Uh, cam and lifters um, if it comes down to where we're going to pull the heads off of this engine i will be videoing that as well so uh, then we're going to end that here i'm going to get back to work